You know, like I said, we're going to come in tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And, um, you know, I know Coach Ray and them, they're going to be on us um, way harder than they ever been. So, I mean, we just got to, you know, man up and take the coaching, whatever it may be. And one thing, like I said, we're going to stick together no matter what and, you know, get ready for another big one. Did you feel like you had them where you wanted them at, the, at halftime when you were up 13 to nothing? And, but what happened in the second half? I mean, of course. I mean, we can't we can't come out and, um, especially on defense, give up a explosive run. I mean, a slow, whatever it may be, explosive pass or whatever it may be. So, I think, like I said, especially coming out of half, you know, we have to get on the field, stop them. We have to score, of course. You know, that's not my job, but um, you know, we have to. Um, whatever may happen on offense, you know, we have to go out there on defense. You know, sudden change. You know, we have to get a stop or whatever it may be. So, I mean, like I said, we're just gonna stick together, come back and, um, you know, get ready for Monday night. I mean, explosive plays, you know, um, I don't know yet. I mean, we'll see, you know, tomorrow, whatever it may be. We're, you know, we'll take the coaching and, um, you know, hopefully we can fix it. With the positive, did you feel like you guys were all contributing in terms of the pass rush today? And, and oh, my fault. With obviously Landry out, it seemed like everybody was kind of doing their part with getting to Daniel. Oh, yeah, 1,000 percent. You know, we maybe we could get a, um, a little more, you know, especially on that um, explosive pass. You know, um, you know, we at least we, you know, kind of showing, um, you know, that, you know, them guys like Weave, you know, even Ola before he um, went out, you know, Nico, all them guys, um, you know, up front, they, you know, they they play their tail off today, and you know, maybe we could just do it a little better next week, you know, um, just to help out a little more. And um, like I said, first, it's first start with stopping the runs, getting uh, stopping them um, explosive plays. This happened last year with, with you guys losing the, the home opener and a big game next week with Buffalo. How, how do you, as a leader, rally, rally this group? We just got to sit together. We're gonna come in tomorrow. Um, take the coaching, fix it, go to practice with a great mindset. You know, we just got to tighten um, things up on um, the details, you know, everything. Um, so, I mean, we don't like this feeling. So, you know, we, like I said, we just got to stick together as a team, take coaching, and just move on. You're up to stop a guy like Barkley all week, and he was able to make the explosive plays like you mentioned. I mean, how, how tough is that? How frustrating is that? I mean, it's always frustrating, no matter if it's him or, you know, whoever we're playing against. You know, we, we never want to give up. Um, almost 300 rushing yards, and because I, like I said, we pride ourselves here in Tennessee on stopping the run. That was our number one defensive key, and we didn't do a good job at it. So, and Shane always say, you know, um, he said all week, all camp, you know, take away all the explosive plays, man. We we win a lot here, so um, I think that's the first step, you know, stopping the run and don't give up that um, explosive plays. Outcome for you guys, but uh, kind of talk a little bit maybe first about the, uh, the couple of the touchdowns that you had, and then. Uh, if you expected to play as big a game in the, the passing game as you did? Uh, I mean, every time I touch the field, I expect to play a big game. I want to get a big shout out to the coaching staff. They came with an amazing game plan. They came, they did their thing. And us as players, we just had to come out better and execute it. When did that start to develop? Because it seemed like those couple plays, like it was scheme to get you open. When did that start to develop as far as like you was a key role in that passing game? Uh, like I said, it's up to the coaches. You know what I mean? They may be making a call on the sideline. I, I have no idea. Whenever my number's called, I'm ready. And I just take advantage of that. I mean, was there a point where they came to you like, hey, listen, you know, we see that you're catching the ball well, you're running routes well. We so, you know, it's all in the play calls. It's the coaches, you know what I mean? That's why I give my salutes to them, and I appreciate them for trusting in me and allowing me to do what I need to do. What worked so well on that, uh, on, that, on that second touchdown pass there that you got so open? What, what worked especially well? Say it again? On that second TD pass where you got so open, what worked so well on that play to kind of, kind of help get you open? Uh, me just recognizing the defense and just taking advantage of that, so, you know, uh, Taking it one play at a time and just going out, just having fun. What was the feeling, Doctor, that you guys go up 13 up and then you kind of answer a couple of their scores and go up 2013? Did you feel like you're in a pretty good position to win this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, we stepped out on the first first time stepping on the field. We was expecting to win the game. Uh, he was upset that we didn't. Uh, I mean, the fact that we we got we fell short and we just got to finish the games better. Did you get banged up late? Uh, me? No, I didn't get banged up, man. No. Next. Could you, so could you have played on the, on the last drive? I could play whenever. Yeah. A little surprised that you weren't in there? I mean, no, it's not your call, but. Like I said, it's not my call. Just leave it up to the team. I just, whenever my number's called, I, I take advantage of it. It's a 24 hour rule, win or lose. How important is it to put this one behind you? You got Buffalo coming up next. Immediately. Uh, so we on to the next one. Like, we got to learn from our mistakes here and just go it's on to the next one. It's a long season, so we got to take advantage of it and start chalking up wins. I guess the, yeah, the, the reason I was asking about the last drive, it didn't look like you had your helmet with you on the sideline. Though. Yeah. Is that usually a sign of a player that's hurt? Or? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I just, my number's called, that's all. Yeah. 
Sometimes that's the way the coin flips. So, um, but obviously we're not going to put the blame on Randy for missing the kick. It's a lot of plays before that that we had to be better on. And uh, like I said, the big plays, not stopping the run, and you know not keeping our composure in certain situations. You took out the one big run from Berkeley. You had pretty good success inside running the ball. Why do you think that was today? Um, I mean, I, I think they had a pretty good scheme against some of the things that we were doing. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I don't think it was a whole lot of. Um, it was some missed tackles, don't get me wrong, but I think we played pretty good, like you said, in the first half, but second half, big run. Then he had another big run that last drive. Um, it's just the big plays, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like for the most part, we made them earn everything, but when you give up those big plays, those are the times when they score a touchdown. So those are things we got to eliminate. Any common thread to what Barkley was able to do? I mean, I know that's a good player over there, but was there there's something they were doing to give you trouble in particular with him? Now he's a good running back. Um, like I said, I think they had some some plays that they hit us on. Uh, the one uh, right coming out of halftime, good scheme. A couple pullers, got, got downhill, made a good move on hook, and, you know, got all the way down the field. And then, like I said, he had the last one on that last drive, kind of found the seam and got through there. So, like I said, he's a really good running back, explosive. And I said that, you know, arm tackles aren't going to bring that guy down. So, credit to him. You know, like I said, they played well. He had a good game. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a tale of two halves. First half, we played really well on defense. Uh, they had a couple plays, but at the end of the day, we made them earn everything. Wasn't no big plays like that. And then first two drives in the second half, it's tied up. So uh, those big plays we can't have. Uh, we have to stop the run. They had, I think they had over 200 yards rushing. That's not going to cut it. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I think it was just a tale of two halves. How good we know we can be and um, how competitive we are. It's always what could I do more, more get the ball out more, more sacks, uh, more pressures, more hits. But I think it comes back again down on the second half, uh, stopping the run. If you don't stop the run, you can't rush the passer. And they were just toting it in the second half. I mean, that just can't happen. Um, if they, if that's what they're going to do, they're going to keep running it until we stop it. First half, we were stopping it, so we were getting in the backfield a little more. But it just wasn't stopping in the second half, so they were going to keep running it. No chances as much. Not as much chances to get back there, so. Appreciate it. Thank you.